Hello everyone and welcome to today's session on tools used in data engineering. An increase in tools and the need to process a mountain of raw data created a significant rise in the demand for data engineers. Data engineers are essential for making data more useful to the companies. To build such a rich data infrastructure, data engineers require a mix of different programming languages, data management tools, data warehouse and whole set of other tools for data processing, data analytics in AIML. In this session, we will learn all about different data engineering tools. So without further ado, let's check agenda for today's session. But before we begin the session, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update from us. So without any more wait, let's get to today's agenda. Fundamental data engineering tasks, tools for data analysis and organization, tools for data system building, tools for data pipeline building, tools for data cleaning, tools for business evaluation, tools for algorithms and prototyping, and finally, the session conclusion. So let's get to our first topic, fundamental data engineering tasks. As we know, data engineers are in charge of creating and maintaining data systems. They create data sets that are simple to evaluate and meet business needs. Data engineers use a variety of techniques to improve the consistency and the quality of the data. They mix raw data from several sources to generate forms that are consistent and machine readable. They also create and text extraction and transformation framework for predictive and prescriptive modeling. So firstly, Let's see a list of some of the most fundamental tasks that an average data engineer has to tackle on a daily basis, and then see the various tools that they make use of in order to complete those tasks. Analyze and organize data, build various data systems, build data pipelines, data cleaning, evaluate business needs, and finally build algorithms and prototypes. Now let's see each of these in more detail, which brings us to our next topic, tools for data analysis and organization. Let us now take a look at some of the most sought out and commonly used tools made use by data engineers for analyzing and organizing data. Python. Python was created as an object-oriented programming language for software and web development, but it has since been expanded for data research as well. It is a sophisticated data analysis tool with a large collection of user-friendly libraries for every element of scientific computing. Python is a free open source programming language that is simple to learn. Pandas, Python's data analysis library, was created on top of NumPy, one of the Python's first data science libraries. R. R is the most popular statistical modeling, visualization, and data analysis computer language. Statisticians mostly utilize it for statistical analysis, big data, and machine learning. R is a free, open-source programming language with several extensions in the form of user-written packages. R has a high learning curve and it requires some programming experience as well. It is, however, a fantastic language in terms of syntax and coherence. When it comes to EDA or, or explanatory data analysis, it is a strategy to evaluate data sets to summarize their essential properties generally using visual approaches. R comes out on top. R is used by Facebook, Google, Twitter, and Uber, and big companies like that. SAS. SAS is a statistical software package that is commonly used for business intelligence, BI, data management, and predictive analysis. SAS is a proprietary program that requires a fee to use. For students to learn and utilize SAS, a free university version has been provided. SAS has a basic user interface making it straightforward to use. Nonetheless, having a thorough understanding of SAS programming is a plus while using the tool. The data phase in SAS where the data is produced, imported, changed, merged, or computed aids in efficient data processing and handling. Few other commonly used tools for this task are Microsoft Excel, Power BI, and the Apache Spark. Now, let's go to our next topic, tools for data system building. Let's see a few of the tools used for building data systems. MySQL. MySQL is a database management system that is quite useful. Top firms such as Google, LinkedIn, YouTube, PayPal, and Twitter, to mention a few, use MySQL. This open source relational database is simple to use and comes pre-installed in a variety of popular online applications such as WordPress. MySQL is a fantastic choice if you want to have time to learn one database because of its popularity and ease of use. SQL Server Management Studio. When 
it comes to database administration software, SQL Server Management Studio is the finest option. It provides SQL service access and management using a robust collection of user-friendly graphical interface and a choice of script editors. It provides an all-in-one database performance profiling and tuning solutions. Developers and database administrators of various skills and levels may utilize the SSMS, the Oracle RDBMS. The Oracle RDBMS is the most popular object relational database management system. The most recent version of the utility supports numerous Windows, Linux and Unix versions, as well as cloud computing. It is safe, supports huge databases, takes up less space and minimizes the amount of time it takes for the CPU to process data. A few other commonly used tools for this task are Salesforce, the Visual Studio Code and the PHP My Admin. Let's check our next topic. Tools for data pipeline building. Some of the tools used for data pipeline building are the Informatica Power Center. It makes creating data marts and data warehouses a breeze. Data masking, metadata management, dynamic partitioning, and high availability are some of the features that help it fulfill security, scalability, and collaboration needs. It's mostly a batch-based ETL solution. It integrates with major cloud data warehouses such as DynamoDB, Amazon Redshift, and others. The IBM Infosphere Data Storage. It is a batch-based ETL tool from IBM. It is a business solution aimed at a larger companies with outdated data systems. You can cut the data movement costs with the containers and virtualizations. With IBM Infosphere Data Stage, you can easily separate the ETL job design from runtime and deploy it on any cloud. It allows you to run any workload 30% faster with a parallel engine and workload balancing. You can also extend the capabilities while preserving the key data stage investments. Azure Data Factory is cost effective because it is available on a pay-as-you-go basis. With over 90 built-in connectors, Azure Data Factory can ingest all of your software as a service or SaaS and software data. With built-in CI or CD, Git support, Azure Data Factory can rehost SQL server integration services in a few clicks. The autonomous ETL may help you unleash operational efficiencies while also empowering citizens integrators. Some of the other commonly used tools of this task are the Apache Airflow, the Apache Kafka, and finally the Oracle Data Integrator. Our next topic is tools for data cleaning. Let us now take a look at some of the tools used for data cleaning. The OpenRefine. It enables you to convert data between multiple formats while also ensuring that it is well structured. It may also be used to parse data from the internet. While it is cosmetically similar to spreadsheet software like Excel, it acts more like a relational database. This makes it very handy and for data analysts who need to dive a little deeper than a simple Excel file offers. Another key benefit is that you can work with the data of your own machine, that is, it is secure. The Trifactor Wrangler. You may use Trifactor Wrangler to change data, perform analytics, and create visualizations. Its usage of smart technology is its distinguishing trait. The application greatly exhilarates the data cleaning process by using the machine learning to detect errors and give recommendations. Its artificial intelligence algorithms, for example, can quickly identify and eliminate outliers, as well as automate overall data quality monitoring. A useful tool for continuous continuous data cleaning. Furthermore, rather than having to create data pipelines from a scratch, a potentially time-consuming operation as anybody in the industry will tell you, the tool's UI makes it much more visible and straightforward to do so. The Data Ladder Data Match Enterprise by Data Ladder is a data cleansing program with a visual interface. It focuses on a consumer data like many of the other tools on our list. However, unlike the others, it is expressly designed to address the data quality concerns inside the datasets that are already in bad shape. It offers a walkthrough interface to accompany you through the data processes from the start to finish. It is intuitive and straightforward to use. Using a wide range of import and export functionality, you can create anything from the database tables that align with the complex internal business procedures to excel the spreadsheet or simple reports. It is also scalable, allowing users to deduplicate, extract, and standardize and data match on data sets large and small. A few of the other tools that are used for this task are the TIBCO Clarity, the Melissa Clean Suite, 
and the IBM Infosphere quality stage. For our next topic, tools for business evaluation. The tools made use for evaluating business decisions by data engineers are the SaaS Business Analytics. The SaaS-based business analytics software's high-grade text analytics feature enables the user to evaluate and turn disorganized data or text into useful information that analysts may utilize to uncover significant insights. The SAS BA comes with a number of statistical tools that make studying big amounts of data in real time much easier. The top of the line business analytics tools also forecast the future trends by using big data insights. The NIME, the revolutionary NIME business analytics platform, was created in 2004 by a skilled software engineers team in the University of Constance in Germany. The NIME, regarded as one of the top high performance business analyst software, supports many components for machine learning and data mining that supports persistent analysis, visual programming, and smooth business analytics reports thanks to its unique data pipelining techniques. The Tableau Big Data Analytics Experts agree that Tableau Big Data Analytics is one of the best analyst software given its dynamic and cutting-edge capabilities for unstructured text analysis. The Tableau's business analytics platform, which includes robust and reliable statistical tools, empower users to perform an in-depth analysis of social media networks and predict patterns based on the current and historical data. A few other tools used for the stars are the Kilk View, Dundas BI, and the Tipco Spotfire. Let's check our next topic out. Tools for Algorithms and Prototyping Tools that are made use for building algorithms and prototyping are the Keras. The Keras has the potential to become your most valuable AI assistant. Keras, dubbed a neural network API, was created with one goal in mind, to facilitate rapid experimentation. And this is to make the process of comprehending user experience easier. The Keras can help you get started if you're a developer looking to make your first foray into the AI by 2018. Watson. Signing up for the Watson may help developers in a variety of ways. A developer may take advantage of IBM's powerful AI supercomputers, renowned and essential technologies, such as the picture recognition, the capacity to start up a conversation, and the natural language processing or NLP. The TensorFlow. TensorFlow might be your top AI tool for the coming year. If you're seeking for an open source machine learning framework that uses data flow graphs, TensorFlow is a powerful tool that comes with a slew of features that may help you complete a variety of tasks with ease. The picture identification skills of this program may be relied upon heavily. Some of the other commonly used tools include the Jupyter and the Scikit-Learn. Now let's go to our final topic of the day, the session conclusion. In this session, we covered almost all of the mainly used tools by various data engineers across the world. So as a recap, let's just go through what we learned in this session yet again. Firstly, we saw the fundamental data engineering, and then we went through the tools for the data analysis and organization. Then we saw the various tools for the data system building. Then we saw the tools for the data pipeline building. And then we covered the tools for the data cleaning. After that, the tools for the business evaluation was looked on. And finally, we saw the tools for the algorithms and prototyping. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel and enable that bell icon so that you will never miss any updates from IntelliPad. Just a quick info guys, if you want to learn data engineering, then IntelliPad provides a job guarantee program in collaboration with MIT MicroMasters. This course will be taught by MIT professors and industry experts. This course will help you to upskill and land your dream job.